Hello YouTube. Today I want to tell you a little bit about my Dodge ProMaster 2500 van. Uh, this van uh, I picked up in the Houston area, used and with 26,000 miles on it and uh, with the plan to uh, convert it into an RV. Uh, I started with the flooring and uh, I want to show you how I uh, put the flooring in this van. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of video. Uh, I have a lot of pictures. So um, we'll start out with the little bit of video that I have uh, with the inside. It is uh, totally empty, has nothing in it. I intentionally uh, did the floor first because uh, if you've ever walked on these metal floors, they're very slippery and I wanted something uh, secure to walk on. So what I did is uh, I started out uh, with uh, some plywood, some uh, three quarter inch plywood, and I stripped it into uh, some of it into two and a half inch strips and some into three and a half inch strips. And where the plywood uh, seams met, I put the three and a half inch strips and, uh, and everything else. I put 16 inch centers underneath the plywood. So as you see here, the uh, I started putting the strips down. Uh, and after I put the strips down, then I cut insulation board three quarter inch and laid it between the boards. And uh, as you'll see later in these pictures, I actually took the, the silver uh, uh, air conditioning duct tape and uh, sealed the uh, insulation board to these plywood strips. Then I laid the plywood on top of it. Um, the plywood uh, is very comfortable to walk on with this insulation under it and the strips the way I did it. Uh, it came out very nicely. It did not take very long to do. It took less than four hours to uh, uh, put this decking down in this uh, in the flooring and it made a secure um, surface to work off of. Uh, the next video I'll be doing is uh, the insulation. I use spray insulation and insulation board. And I'll be showing you how I did that on the next video. Till next time, check you later.